This is my Seahawk 4 inflatable boat. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how I mounted this awesome bimini top. I'll show you the step-by-step -step process, all the parts I used, and I'll put product links in the description below. And then we'll take this thing out on the water and we'll see how it holds up. Here's a list of parts and the hardware that I'm gonna use for this portion of the build. I've got four 5 16 wire pins. I've got two eyelet screws. And then I'm gonna be using two 60 inch utility handles as my mounting rails. To start this project, I need to mount what I'm calling mounting rails. And I'm gonna be using the utility handles and the ore holes. I drove my hole and mounted the first wire pin three inches back from the end. The next wire pin I'm going to mount against the ore hole on the back to use it to trap the rail into place. I'm adding eyelet screws to the ends of each of these rails to add an attachment point for the straps for the bimini top. Here's the bimini top mounting kit that I bought. It has straps and various ends, but the hinges are what I was really after. This is the mounting point for the bimini top. I've measured back 48 inches from the back of the boat because that's exactly where I'm gonna mount this thing. Hand tight so I don't strip them out. Now I'm gonna install my bimini top on top of my rails. There's a lot of 54 inch three bow bimini tops that'll work just fine on Amazon. I'll leave an affiliate link for one and all the hardware from today's video in the description below. And if you use it, it'll help out the channel. Looks like I need to make a few adjustments with the straps, but all in all, I think it works pretty good. Let's get this thing off to the lake and we'll see how it performs on the water. Today on cameras, we've got Jeff. Thanks for helping us out, Jeff. We are here at the lake. This is Quail Creek Reservoir in Hurricane, Utah. This place is amazing. So what do you guys think of this bimini top installation? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. These things sell for under 150 bucks and they're pretty easy to install. Be sure to check out my other videos for this project boat. I'll put links to them right here. I'm glad you watched and I hope you'll watch again.